It's my feel good breakfast show. Yeah, from Azerbaijan to Uzbekistan to everything in between. But listen, I've recently learned how to swim, so I've been kind of thinking about how I can spread my wings. Those are the swimming wings now. So I thought maybe one day I might take them to the pool. In fact, we've got a little story for you on how the sport of polo cross is developing all across our country. Take a look. Combining the raw beauty of polo with the pace and skill of lacrosse, polo cross is a sport where SA has excelled in recent years. Patrick and Corsi fell in love with the sport as a child and now is a member of the national team. I Patrick along with Tembi Madonsela are products of active polo cross development and will be reserves for the World Cup squad at the upcoming polo cross world championship in KZN. Tembi is one of the youngest competitors showing much promise. I started polo cross at the age of 11. I used to watch Caroline when I was playing and then I lived on a farm with Caroline. So I loved horses and she gave me a horse to start playing polo cross. When I'm in the middle of the game when the adrenaline is pumping, I get goosebumps, but when I get the ball into my racket, it's time to play. Tembi's career hasn't been without major challenges. She suffered severe injuries in a riding accident and it was a slow climb back into the saddle for the aspiring champion. I was riding a 14-year-old horse called French, she's a chestnut. She saw her fall and she wanted to, to go to her fall. And I jumped, but not correctly. I broke my wrist and dislocated my shoulder blade. I was afraid that I was going to break my arms again and that I won't be able to go to school. But then I got the courage to get back onto the horse. Once I got my riding lessons right, I started to pick up a racket doing exercises with my hands. She's since dedicated herself to improving her technique and her inclusion in the Proteas team provided a rich learning environment. Having to be selected in the Proteas side, it's a real privilege having to see the players play their game to learn their different techniques so I can up my game. My remaining goals that I would love to achieve is to play, to actually play in the World Cup for 2019. As the South African team prepares to defend the World Championship title, a new generation of riders is on the horizon, ready to gallop and score big in their careers.